seen a lot more purple campaign signs popping up. Maybe on a neighbor's lawn or in the hands of a particularly dedicated group of protesters tailing liberal leader Justin Trudeau's every move recently. For those who don't know, these signs are for the right-wing populist PPC, the People's Party of Canada. If you follow the 2019 election, this might seem a little out of nowhere. After all, founder and current leader Maxime Bernier lost his own seat in the last election, and the party got less than 2% of the vote. At that time, the party was mostly talking about anti-immigration rhetoric. 49% of Canadians want fewer immigrants. Saying they would limit the number of immigrants to Canada. So what's behind the party's seemingly sudden rise in popularity? We are all for freedom of choice. Everybody must be able to decide if they want the vaccine or not. We can't know exactly how much support for the PPC has grown until Election Day, but it's clear the party has managed to tap into movement, or rather a coalition of movements that haven't felt represented by Canada's mainstream political parties. This all came to a head during the pandemic. Starting in March of 2020, anti-lockdown sentiment started gaining momentum through social media. This escalated into protests. First, it was anti-masks, and then anti-lockdown, and now anti-vaccines, or anti-vaccine passports. It's united groups that might not have had much to agree on before. For example, anti-vax parents claiming natural immunity find themselves protesting alongside anti-government Canadian nationalists, or small business owners opposed to lockdowns are protesting alongside people who believe COVID is just one big conspiracy. If that sounds like a tenuous alliance to you, go back and take a look at the footage of the January 6th protests in the US. There, you had Canadian nurses opposed to lockdowns protesting alongside QAnoners and Trump supporters. With Trudeau getting dogged and even hit with pebbles by people carrying PPC election signs, experts say we're seeing a sort of Canada light version of the January 6th populist anger right now during this election. We will not go down without a fight! These folks are united, and they're supporting the PPC. Election Day will tell us more about just how much support they have.